girl. <laughs> Silly. Good morning, everybody. This is Mrs. Claus at Big Cat Rescue in Tampa, Florida. Good morning, Christina. Hey, Carol. So, Mrs. was still out. She is one we don't get to see very often. Hi, Liz. Hi, Lori and Rochelle. Little Mitt. Does that mean your mama hasn't been over to feed you yet? Hi. I know. <laughs> so growly. Why are you so growly? Oh, that's a lot of Mrs. Attitude right there. Good morning, Angie. Good morning, Karen. We're just getting started. I helped feed this morning. Poor Devin barely had enough people to feed or clean, but I always tell him I can help feed, but cleaning can take you until noon or one, and I can't do that. Hi, Amy. Hello, Miss. <laughs> You're giving everybody attitude. Hi, Adam. Good morning. Good morning, Vicki. Biscuit's also out. You can actually see him in the background. He's watching her. <laughs> Thank you, Heather, for your donation. Good morning, Virginia. Good morning, Cliff. If any of you guys are brand new to us, hey, Andy, feel free to ask as many questions as you want. We've got moderators that are in the comments that always try to reach out and answer things that I'm not able to. This is Mrs. Claus we're looking at. <laughs> you are a wild one. Let's go say hi to your, your neighbor. We'll also see if, yeah, Apollo is out. Apollo's a Siberian lynx. Look how comfy he looks on his Kularoo. Morning, Diane. We'll come back to Apollo. Let's go see what Sneaky Biscuit's doing. This is Nabisco Bobcat over here. Mrs. and Nabisco used to live together. She is a wild woman. That's why they don't live together now. They are next door to each other. Hi. You watching my feet? You only like to watch the feet because you want to grab them, huh? Good morning, Holly. Yes, that was Mrs. Claus growling. Thank you, Rachel, for your donation. <laughs> Look how fixated he is on my feet. He will stare at your feet until they start moving and then he goes crazy. You're so silly. Hi. No, yeah, look, there's more to me than just my feet. Sarah, we only have one white tiger. Her name is Sapphire. And if you follow us regularly, you probably saw her in the hospital over the weekend. She went in for an exam and had to have two incisors removed some dental work and then they also found a mass like on her forehead and they removed that as well. Well it's weird you look like you got breakfast because you're chill but Mrs. is acting like she didn't get nothing. Nabisco is our youngest resident. He just recently turned three years old. When he zones out, he really zones out. That's really funny. Such a silly personality. He's one of my operant conditioning cats. He has come a very, very far away, but it's really funny because he starts the sessions really, really well behaved. And if you work with him for too long, then he goes absolutely nuts. <laughs> yeah, Adam, it's been a busy day with, uh, with them catching live prey. <laughs> I saw the squirrel. The only way we can get that squirrel from Duchess is to lock her up in the roof section. I'm not sure what high priority that is at the moment. And yeah, Priya sounds about right. Hi, Paolo. I don't want to scare you. You don't realize I'm here. He's very old. Hi, Mr. Man. Oh, yeah, hi. Yeah. Hi. So this is Apollo. He's a Siberian lynx. I will try to fit in all these requests I'm seeing. Right now I'm in the front section of the sanctuary with all the littles. I'll try
try to see if I can get back to Sundari and Nanny. I do have a cart again. Victor fixed the piece on my cart that wasn't allowing it to charge. Thank you, Sylvia, for your donation. We are right across the street from Smalls, so I'll see if I can work some magic on that one. And Hutch would be on the way to Sundari and Nanny, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Look how handsome. So this fella here was born in 1997, so he's definitely one of our oldest residents. Hey, Elena. Thank you again to everybody that's donating and sharing this feed with all your friends and family. That helps alert Facebook that we are doing something that you guys like, and they push it out to more and more people, and that really, really helps the cats. Sharing anything from our Instagram or our YouTube channels, all of that helps. For now, instead of thinking about all the cats we want to go see, let's just focus on the ones we're looking at. <laughs> so, so far we've seen Mrs. Claus, Nabisco, and Apollo. If you come in late to these live feeds, you can always start them over from the beginning once we are finished. I used to just stream them like I was watching television. It was a good way to always keep up on what was current at the sanctuary. Hi. So the cleaners are coming out, so you'll start hearing and seeing water bowls and hoses. Are you wagging that tail? So fun fact, uh, a lynx, you can see his tail, how it looks like it was dipped in ink. Whereas a bobcat has a white stripe up the back of their tail. So if you're ever lucky enough to see them in the wild, it's your best way to tell the difference. Because especially depending on age, they can all look the same when they're smaller. Of course, he looks very different than Nabisco, and Nabisco looks very different from Mrs. Claus. So, so interesting about bobcats. Depending on their location, their size and colorations vary, even though they're all the same species. And just like Apollo here looks very different from Gilligan, but I, I think I just showed you guys Gilligan and Frankie the other day. happy Apollo. You notice he's less talkative to me today. That's because he already has had breakfast. So he's got a nice full belly. Alright, well let's go see if Smalls is out. There's Biscuit again. Good morning, Leanne. Let's see what Smalls is up to. Small girl! She has been, she has found a new favorite spot, which is really interesting. She, that short platform that you see off in the distance, she hangs out underneath it. And she's been doing that ever since they built the new ramp to her den. It's just very interesting. I'm not totally sure why. So we have a bunch of new interns that started and they're taking their classes. I think we got four new interns yesterday. So today they're learning to drive golf carts responsibly. Hi, small girl. What are you doing under there? You see where that red toy is and you see that platform? She is right underneath there. What you doing under there? You better come see me. Oh, she's grooming. That's what she's doing. If she doesn't head over this way, I'll go over. Hi! What are you doing under there? Sam's sleepy. Can I come see you? I have no idea if we're going to put anyone next to Duchess at Tiger Lake. I know it's an ongoing discussion, but I don't think it's anything we're trying to do anytime very quickly. Hi! There you are, silly girl. Silly girl. Hi! Yes? Nope, I don't want that in even though you have the cutest little tail. Look at that tail. So you see what I mean about the white stripe on the bobcat tail? 
whereas Apollo had an all black tail. What you doing, Cutie Pie? What you doing, Cutie Pie? Hi. Oh, too sunny. Let's go somewhere where we're not blinded. Here we go. That'll work. I agree, Adam. Duchess is having the time of her life up there. She is not shy and she is always busy. I don't want that in. So yeah, it's, it's one of those situations where I think when we figure out exactly what we want to do with that enclosure, that's when we'll move forward. But we haven't been in a super rush. Everybody's kind of spread out and has a lot of different enclosures. I mean, Keisha and Jasmine both share a, a huge string of enclosures right along the lake. And everybody else has big, big sections too. So I don't know, everybody's pretty good right now. Oh, where's she going? There's a blue bird over there that I think she's interested in. Uh-oh, we might get a Nat Geo moment here in a second. She's under the platform now. Thank you, Amanda. I appreciate that. Rachel, I don't know if she has ever sprayed other keepers. She pretty much does what she just showed you that she does to me. She always shows me her little rear end, but she's never actually sprayed me. Pharaoh, Mrs. Claus, and Bailey are the only ones that have successfully done that. Frankie will also show me his cute little bobcat tail, but won't spray me. Gilligan actually tried to spray me this morning, but I knew he was up to his tricks. What are you doing over there? She's acting a little paranoid. I don't totally know why. She goes through phases like that, and anytime they have to do work in or near her enclosure, she gets a little, a little bit paranoid. Should we let you be? They were just cleaning out uh, the enclosure next door to her. That is where Mrs. Claus used to be. So that might be part of what's got her all freaked out. Are you just ready for a nap? I got out here pretty late, huh? Well, if I'm gonna get to any other requests I've seen in the early part of this feed, let's head down and see Hutch as we pass by. Don't know that the cubs will still be out. I fed them this morning and they all got a lot of food today. So good chance they're all in den sleeping. I just ordered two more huge canvas prints for my office. And one of them is finally Smalls and one of them is Cyrus. I've had photos picked out for a while, it's just those canvas prints are expensive. So I try to find coupons and see how uh, I'm trying to fill up my office with my favorite photos of my favorite cats and then if I have call prints for them, I'm putting those away. Been a slow, slow process, but I very much enjoy walking into my office and seeing all my favorite faces. Alright, let's go. Oh, here's a cub. Hi, Mr. Man. So Aries is still out and Artemis is out. So whoever asked about the cougars is probably in luck. Maybe even more so than those who asked about Hutch, because he might already be sleeping somewhere. Well, since I see Aries, let's go say hi to him real quick. Hmm. 
Mr. Man. Was breakfast so very good? So you heard me call these guys the Cubs, um, but they're actually 13 years old. We refer to them as Cubs because that's what they were when they came to us. Hi. Oh, he's gonna face the wrong way. He's gonna face the wrong way. We want to see your beautiful face. <laughs> he's like, nope. <laughs> all right. All right, I guess this is all we get from Aries. Hey, sir. There you are. Hi. You hear him purring? Well, thank you. Yeah, actually my goal was to go out and see Hoover, but now I have all these other requests that popped up. So I'm trying to do my best. We'll see what we can fit in today. It's only Tuesday. I try to do this every day. So there's options Wednesday and Thursday for me to show some of the other cats. Hi, this is Orion. Hi, Rai Rai. Hi, I keep going. You purring too? fed these guys this morning so they're probably absolutely being like hey did you bring us another snack actually he wants me to open the door between him and Aries the boys love to snuggle together sorry bud your cleaner will do that <laughs> he's heading through the tunnel he's like I'm ready to go snuggle so fun fact cougars are the biggest cat that can still purr like that everything above that is more of a roar or a sawing hi pretty girl this is the sister, this is Artemis. Hi. Hi, pretty. Hi, pretty girl. Hi, kitty. So these guys were brought to us when they were still teeny tiny little cubs with blue eyes. They still had their spots. A hunter shot and killed their mother in Idaho. And at least he realized, or she, I don't actually know who the hunter was, but they realized that it was a lactating female that they had killed, so they at least went looking for the babies. Found these three little cubs. And luckily, instead of being separated or going out into the zoo world or being bred for more cats in cages, they got to come and live here at our sanctuary. Do you see Hutch over there? He didn't come out. Pretty pretty. So very pretty. If I've missed any questions that our moderators or our regulars haven't been able to answer for you, when I get back to my desk, I always go through all the comments. Make sure everybody was being kind to each other and helpful. And if I didn't say it out loud in the video, I always try to reach out to you with a response. Like I said, this is Artemis. They're now 13 years old. Where are you going, lady? She's also walking to the door. She's like, well, you're out here. Let us all have that together. <laughs> That's for the cleaner to do. And if you're just joining, we've already seen Mrs. Claus, Nabisco, Apollo. We saw Smalls. We just had a cameo from all three of the Cougar Cubs. That's Beecher. Where's Hutch? Hutchy! Where's little Hutch? I see Ginger. Maybe Hutch is near Ginger. This is Tommy heading into the rehab area. I'll be off radio for a few minutes. Karma heading out to take care of Alpha. Alpha's doing well. She's outside and she's on a camera now, so you guys can watch her on the floor camera. Not in there. Hi, Ginger. You tell me all about it. You got a stick right there. Thank you, Andy, for your donation. This is Ginger. She's an African serval. That's their official hello. They're very, very hissy, very, very fierce cats in very small packages. Hi. Yep, that's about what 
unexpected from you. Where's your neighbor? Let's go see. We may miss Hutch today, but I saw Cyrus out front and center, so sometimes if I go talk to Cyrus, Hutch will magically appear. I hear you, Beach. Yup. Where's your noisy neighbor? Where's your noisy neighbor? Hi, you boy. All right, you guys are the winners. Hi, cute. Ah. 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 I know, tell everybody about it. This is Beecher. Beecher is a savannah cat. You just want to lay and hang out? Yes. I have no idea why this is blurry. Sorry. Nothing I can do about that. I'm not connected to Wi-Fi because if I do that, it'll. there's too many different areas on property that have like different Wi-Fi's, so it'll keep trying to jump around and it'll just cut in and out constantly or it'll fail altogether and shut off. Hi. You're so handsome. You ate every last bite of breakfast this morning. I'm so proud of you. Yeah, I'm so proud of you, sir. So Beecher's a savannah cat, so he is a hybrid. He's man-made, not something naturally occurring in the wild. And unfortunately, that's what landed him here because he is not a cat that was going to be a good pet. Yep, Cyrus is right behind him. Yeah, he's an F1 Savannah, so unfortunately, that breeding world that creates Savannahs, it's a huge money-making industry, sadly enough. They would have been very happy with him. Oh, <laughs> look what I just... Look what I just saw. Where'd you come from, sir? This is Hutch. Hi, Hutch. You being a cute boy? I knew you'd come over if I came over to them. Like, you can't just come over here and not say hi to me. You're so cute. Oh, Hutch. You were a good boy at breakfast, too. Well, Adam, we were told by uh, Beecher's previous owner what uh, he was. Unfortunately, the mass majority of the cats that we have here, we get very little to none <laughs> of any kind of real information um, for a lot of these rescues. A lot of them come from private hands, um, and a lot of them come from bad situations, and we just, especially if they were confiscated or something like that, we, we rarely get real information. Look at all that fur coming off of you, buddy. It's kind of a nice thing that Hutch likes to rub so much like that because he's kind of brushing himself. Unfortunately, he was declawed, which is why he's a little limpy. Yeah. I would imagine when it comes to hybrids in general, it would be really, really hard to know just by looking at a cat. We don't do like genetic testing as far as I'm aware, but. So Hutch is a true African serval, whereas Beecher is the hybrid. I need to go back to you for a second. Look how sweet you're being just laying there. And if you're new to us or you have in-depth questions about the cats, your best bet is to go to our website and look at all of the cat bios. Uh, Holly's been working. I don't think they're all done. I have no idea when they'll all finally have a brand new updated bio, but hopefully soon because the ones that are done are amazing. And it's the place that me and Afton tend to recommend the majority of our viewers to go learn about the cats is their bio page. But you can go to bigcatrescue.org slash catbio 
and it has a list of every single one of our cats. You can listen to their stories or you can read their stories and we'll be adding a ton of new photos for all the cats. Hi, sir. You probably got all your trilling out of the way while I was over there, huh? Let's see, let's come over here where it's shady. And we might get a glimpse of chaos, we'll see. Hi, sir. Where are you going? <laughs> I'm not walking to your food lockout, sorry. Sorry. Hi. So this is Cyrus, he is a caracal. He's another one of those cats that really likes to show me his little rear end, but thankfully does not spray me. All wild cats spray to mark their territory, so really thick, stinky urine usually because they're wild cats, so they need to be able to mark their territory outside and it stay and linger. Kitty pie! He has also been declawed, so he also has a little bit of a limp. Yeah. Look at those ears. Look at those ears. We also have um, different species facts on our website. You can literally Google Big Cat Rescue and then, you know, Jaguar facts or Caracal facts or whatever it is you're looking for and you'll have all kinds of cool information that you can read about all the different species. Yeah, ocelots by far have the stinkiest, most lingering urine for sure. A very specific smell that you can tell when you're around them. And that's because they should be native to the rainforest, so lots and lots and lots of rain. And they need to be able to mark their territory where it sticks around for them. Yeah. I think caracal ears are my favorite ears too. I think bobcat tails are my favorite, caracal ears are my favorite. <laughs> Tiger sounds are my favorite. All their chuffing and even their roars, nothing like it. When I moved here to get involved, I came here for lions. Um, obviously we only have Nikita left. It was male lions is kind of where my fascination was. And almost immediately realized how absolutely amazing you can get him. That bobcats and cougars were. I just never, ever, ever would have expected it. No, with wild cats, it doesn't matter whether you have spayed or neutered them, fixed them in any possible way, they will still mark their territory with urine. Very, very rare uh, for people to ever even get even just a hybrid to actually use a litter box. Most of them won't do that. That's why the huge reason why they would never make a good pet, among many other things. But you're hired for my stabilizer to keep up with today, sir. cutie pie. You're not gonna give us any up-close trills today? All right, we're gonna go. Hi, sweet baby. <laughs> All right, yeah, we've been live for quite a bit so far, seen lots of cats, so um, you can definitely make sure that you go like and follow our show channel page. Hi, cute boy. Sorry, he's too cute for me to walk by. This is Hutch again. You're just too cute. Yeah. 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 Nope, you stay up there. I'm going. I'm leaving. Yeah. I know, sweet boy. Oh, I love that cat. Oh, I love that cat. All right, let's get... I don't know if we'll see Sundari. We may have already missed her. She's out and about. She's in funcation right now. Sorry, bud bud. And she hangs out a lot in the morning close to the front. But since she's already had breakfast, she may be all the way in the back. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna see Sunny. I'll try to hit her up maybe tomorrow or Thursday if I'm not feeding. So we can see a little bit.
server. Let me get back to my cart real quick. We'll go see what Manny's doing. So we've already seen Mrs. Claus, Nabisco, Apollo, Smalls. We got to see Ginger and Hutch, all three cubs. We saw Beecher and Cyrus. Maybe tomorrow, because Jinx is the same way, you kind of have to hit him up in the morning, either like right before breakfast or at breakfast. And then he spends the rest of the day either kind of in a hard to reach place. We'll be back out in the late evening, but these big cats sleep all day long. So, our show channel, as I was saying before Hutch distracted me with his cuteness, is facebook.com slash wildcat walkabout. That show channel posts every single thing that I do. Um, so all my lives, my GoPros. Hi, sir. You gonna let us talk to you for a minute? This is Manny, Manny Jaguar. And it also posts things that Lauren Buckingham does and that Carol does. So handsome. This is a full belly Manny right here. Still looks feisty though. Won't be getting any closer. Manny's our only Jaguar. He just uh, turned 13, I believe, last week. Keisha's where Keisha's been for quite a while now, and Kali is still where Kali was. She's in Cameron and Zebu's old enclosure. Hi, handsome. have any last minute questions feel free to fire them away otherwise Manny's gonna be our last one today and like I said maybe tomorrow or Thursday I'll try to see Jinx and Sundari in the morning and by now we've already lost Hoover into a den as well I would imagine so maybe we'll try him again in a day or so but please uh, rewatch this from the beginning and also um, they set up a YouTube page where all of my lives go and the short link to that is dailybigcat.com. So there are an abundance of places that you can watch these lives. You just have to go out there and find it. So facebook.com slash wildcatwalkabout or dailybigcat.com or just our main Facebook page because as soon as I shut this off, it'll post automatically. Instead of being live, it'll be a recorded video. You're so handsome. Look how handsome that boy is. Nikita has been doing just fine. She hasn't shown me any aggression, and I believe the people that she was kind of being a little moody with, that that stopped. Unless she's always been that way with that person, then that's continued, but her meds were increased, so it's keeping her a little bit more relaxed. Well, thank you guys so much for joining. Thank you very much to the four people that donated and to all of you that shared this feed. Really appreciate that. And just so you guys know, make sure you follow Carol because Carol Baskin's Facebook page is where she generally posts her daily updates. She gives you a lot of the same information that I do, but usually even more. I always watch her updates to make sure I'm not missing anything. We saw a lot of cats today, so if you joined in late, feel free to watch from the beginning because I'm gonna shut this down. Nanny wishes you all an awesome day. See you guys again soon.